and gentlemen, we move on with three two-minute rounds of amateur K1 action. Would you welcome first, into the blue corner, representing King Tiger Thai, Dan Curtin! Would you welcome his opponent into the red corner? Representing Strike Down MMA, Mark Mitchell! of amateur K1, curtain in the blue, Mitchell in the red. So we just get ready to kick off for our fourth fight of the evening. We have uh, Dan Curtin fighting out of the blue corner for King Tiger Tai, and uh, Mark Mitchell from Strike Down MMA. This is a three times two minute rounds of amateur K1. And Brendan, once again, King Tiger Thai, very well respected Muay Thai club there. Tomash, my old mate in the corner there, breeds them tough and technical. So yeah, Danny, Dan Tiger, uh, sorry, Dan Curtin from uh, King Tiger here to date has uh, fought one fight and I'd like to point out he won it as well. Yeah, so he knows what it's like. I mean, Mark Mitchell is asking questions, pouring forward strongly, but as I said, King Tiger, strong traditional Muay Thai background which they're transferring to total full contact or K-Run rules but Mark Mitchell moving nicely and throwing heavy shots himself oh extremely heavy blows and just just like the, uh, the, the the last fight we saw you know they, they, they've both gone all out in this first round and I think they're not careful they're gonna burn themselves out Malcolm well a big cheap kick there from Mitchell lands on Curtin and rocks him temporarily and you're right Brendan an incredible pace started already and I, do, do you think that they've got it in them to be able to, you know, to, to, to fight the next, the next few rounds like no, this? No, I think because... there's going to be a stoppage looking at these two. There's no emphasis on defence at all. It's seek and destroy. And don't forget, knees are tool here now to the midsection. You know, this is a hard, hard discipline and neither of them have wasted any time. They've planted their feet. There's no feeling out. You know, sometimes you pop shots off to get a feeler. Every time you plant your feet, it takes energy. Look at these two men. They've planted them from the moment they've started. And, and, and just like to point out, they both abided by that rule there. Within, within the clinch, they fired one shot each and they were both out. Now, Dan Curtin already bleeding freely from the nose and a big push forward from the knee. And remember, more and more MMA gyms are training Muay Thai. Since Anderson Silva, more and more Muay Thai gyms are being popular with the MMA clubs as well. And Mitchell, you can see, is a real live wire. As you can see, they're coming to the end of this round, though, Malcolm. I mean, they, they both started to tie. The, the round started out, they were all out. Hands and feet firing out there. They've both started to tie it down. Well, so as I said to you, Brendan, when you plant your feet for the full duration, every shot counts. Every shot takes it out of you. The crowd love it. King Tiger have brought a huge following here tonight for the world title fight, obviously. For me, this is now not about who can give it most, who can take it most. I mean, the, the crowd are definitely getting behind these guys. They know that both of them want it. So they, they looks like they're going to start the round again, firing on, you know, firing all out. 
There you go, the very, big very overhand shot, right yeah. from Curtin. Beautiful, beautiful. I think it's locked in for six. Mitchell's taking them again and again. Because his instinct is to attack, he's wide open. He's not got the experience to tuck up. Oh, he's out. He's he out. He's he is at home already. That is he's because gone. his first instinct was to attack back and he was caught absolutely stone cold. We knew it happened and it did. And, I, and, and I'd like to say as well, I don't think that, that Mark was but he's used to, to taking such heavy blows. I mean, he comes from a light contact and points fighting background. And